Hi there, today I will help you getting started with our PMA Python SDK. Let us begin by installing PMA Python using PyPy. Type pip install PMA Python and hit enter. We can see here that PMA Python is successfully installed. Before we go further, it is important to mention that this is not a standalone SDK. So this means that you will need to run PMA start first in order to in order for the SDK to work. If you have not installed PMA start already, you can find a link in the description of this video. Now that we have PMA start running, let's go to our Python code. We'll begin by importing the core module from PMA Python. Right from PMA Python, import core. Then we will write uh, if else class for quickly checking if everything is running smoothly. So if core dot is light, we will print you are running PMA start version and plus core dot get version info. Else we will raise an error saying that PMA start has been has not been detected. Let's run the code. Next, let's navigate through the core.py source code and in IntelliJ, the IDE I'm currently using. You can do this by control plus clicking on core.py. Um, so in the source code, you'll find all the different methods together with an explanation with what they do. As, um, as a first example, we will pick get slides. So we can read here that this method returns an array of slides available in the start directory and we are only required to fill in the directory parameter. Let's try it out. I will write a for loop to go over the slides that are in the current directory. So I'll write for slide and core dot get slide. The directory path. Um, let me quickly copy and paste this. Here we go. And um, we will need to replace the backslashes with forward slashes. So make sure you do this. And then we will print slides. Okay, let's let's run the code. All right, this works. As you can see, I have uh, slide.mrxs in my tutorial folder. But uh, I actually also have a subfolder in which I have a .scn slide. Um, maybe you have noticed earlier that there was also a recursive parameter in the get slides method. Uh, let me quickly pull it up in the source code again. So as you can see, there is indeed a recursive parameter that is set to false by default. We'll adjust our code by setting recursive to true. And Okay, true, and then we'll run the code. Now we can see that it also returns slides from uh, the subfolders. Great. Lastly, uh, let us took, uh, lastly, let us take a look at another method. I will search for the get pixel dimensions. We can see that this returns the total dimensions of a slide. Let's try that. We will print the message that the pixel dimensions are. Then 
then we will print core.getPixelsDimension slide. And because we have two files at the moment, let me quickly write some separation lines. Okay, so let me run the code. Make sure that, uh, let me make the screen a little bit bigger. So as you can see, we can see the pixel dimensions of our slides here. So yeah, I hope this helps you getting started with our uh, SDK. Thanks.